Hello, we are the Academic Support Services team here in the UNT Learning Center. The Learning Center is here to support you with all your academic needs with multiple workshops and support services like academic coaching, supplemental instruction, and tutoring. In this presentation, you will get a taste of one of our academic support services as we explore effective note taking. Let's get started. In this presentation, we will discuss what to do before, during, and after class, recommendations for electronic notes, helpful apps, and even new methods to explore for note taking. Let's talk about some of the strategies you can utilize before class to come prepared. It's important to start off on the right foot. So before class, try to make sure you've done the following. Review assignments and readings. Review previous lecture notes and any notes you have from your reading. Written down any questions that you still have from last class or your homework since then. It might also seem obvious, but consistently have all your materials. It's easy in an online class just to sit down at a computer or even your phone ready to listen with lecture without supplies. So be ready to take notes. Check back in past notes and even your book and have some water handy if you're less tempted to walk away during class. When you can, it's important to be ready for class a little early. For online classes, this will give you a chance to troubleshoot any technical difficulties and in person, it helps you scope out the perfect spot for you. Make sure you are somewhere that you can focus. That means separating yourself from roommates if you're in an online class or anywhere in a classroom where you're likely to start paying attention to something else that's not the lecture, like a window or a bulletin board. And no matter the mode of the class, put your phone away unless your instructor asks you to get it out to participate in a class activity. Now we can discuss what to do during class. It's important to make sure you're listening to the material being covered in class. Note taking isn't just recording information for us to learn later. It's an active part of how we process information and move it from short term to long term memory. To help keep yourself accountable to active listening, you can try mentally restating what you've said. You don't have to do this with every single point, but you can do it when your instructor is covering a new general concept. Also, make sure you're writing down at least three main points. It's easy not to take notes during a discussion based class, but then it's even easier to forget that type of information if it isn't actively processed. Also, make sure you ask questions that you have. If there doesn't seem like a good time to do it in class, use an office hour or even email your professor. It's important not to try to write everything down. Start using abbreviations if you haven't already and use your instructor shorthand if it makes sense. It will make later reviews so much easier. Don't focus on full sentences either. You can always clean up your notes after class. For now, just get the information recorded. If you feel like you're losing focus or feel like you're falling behind, use some time where a concept with which you have some familiarity is being covered to take a little mini break. It's not a break from listening, just the writing part but you can help yourself find more of these opportunities by doing class readings and assignments that are assigned before every class. Any time a PowerPoint is provided by your instructor, make sure to use it as an outline, not as a replacement for your notes. No PowerPoint covers the full scope of the lecture. So it's easy to think that you can just read it later and remember the class, but you will lose a lot of valuable information that way. Definitely take advantage when you are given these presentations, but you should still make sure to fill in the gaps with your own notes. You can also print or download the outline and write or type your notes in the notes section under each slide. Anytime there is one of those slides with a ton of information on it and you want to take a photo, try to resist the urge. It may be helpful if it includes a lot of data that you'll need to know and you won't be able to access elsewhere, but other than that, you may not look through your camera roll for a PowerPoint slide. Computers can be just as much of a distraction as a tool. So be careful what you're bringing into your classroom environment. They can be completely unavoidable in an online setting, but also distracting. 
focus on the PowerPoint and your notes, not your DoorDash order from lunch after class, not checking your bank statement, not online shopping, Reddit, or anything else non-class related. If you need to use a website that blocks your access to certain sites during that time to keep yourself accountable, do it. Even though an increasing amount of our time is spent at the computer, still plan to take your notes by hand unless it doesn't work well for you. It's true that the average person types faster than they write, but studies show continually that we process the information that were written by hand much more effectively than what we've typed. You can always type up your notes later as a part of your review process. Also, keep in mind that technology is unreliable. Have a backup copy of your notes, even if digital notes generally work better for you. Now, let's talk about what to do after class is over. Don't put those notes away yet. Your notes can be very helpful in retaining information if you review them after class. To best use your own time, try to always skim your notes sometimes, at least during the day after you've taken them. If you can commit even two minutes to a quick skim, you will be much better off. You can learn more about why that is in our memory strategies presentation, Don't You Forget About Me. Then do whatever reorganizing you want to do. Sometimes this means adding a page number from the textbook where there's a good explanation of the concept. Other times it just means making the lecture notes read more coherently. You can often eliminate and condense some of what you initially wrote down, which makes your study sessions before the test way easier to digest. You can even add color coding if that's helpful for you. Also, make sure you store all of your notes in one place to review later. This means using the same notebook for every class, a folder on your computer, whatever works best for you, but staying organized in the day-to-day -day so that you're not missing whole weeks of work when you go study later. As part of your ongoing review process, make sure to look at each set of notes at least two to three times over the course of several days. This will help you most effectively recall the information later. Now let's review a few recommended tips for electronic note taking. Here are a list of some apps that might be helpful when note taking. Procreate. This is a software that works with the Apple Pencil and iPad. It is simple and does have a lot of power. Microsoft Surface Studio. This software makes it possible to create anything you can think of. It is considered one of the best remote digital scribing on Microsoft devices. Microsoft OneNote. This is a solid note-taking tool in the Microsoft universe. You can easily plug in documents from any Microsoft suite into the note itself. Google Keeps. This lets you take, store, and share notes across all of your devices. Not too many features, but it's convenient for everyone to use. Apple Notes. If you are in the Apple ecosystem, Apple Notes or simply Notes on iCloud Notes is an easy to use, convenient, free tool for note taking. And Notability. It creates notes that have integrate handwritten typing, drawing, audios, and pictures. Many college students haven't found a note-taking system that works really well for them. For some, an outline or Cornell notes work wonders, but for other, traditional methods aren't as compatible with how they process information. However, we can absolutely help if you think that you could benefit. Check out our virtual workshop on note-taking at learningcenter.unt.edu. You can also cover some of those specifics in a one-on-one -on -one session with an academic coach. Learn more about that process at learningcenter.unt.edu slash coaching. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our website at learningcenter.unt.edu for more information and follow us on social media to get the latest updates. Again, welcome to UNT and go mean green.